Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Buddy1927 and this is H1Z1 episode 3 that I'm doing. And today we're going to start the foundation for our massive uh, fort. I'm sorry, massive base. Um, so the first thing we need to do, we need to craft some stuff. I've already done it. But um, first thing you need to do is craft a a um, deck foundation. The recipe is um, logs. I'm sorry. The recipe is four logs, sixteen wood planks, twenty nails, and eight brackets. So I've already crafted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it where I need to place it. Yeah, we'll go. I'm trying to get it. So there we go. We're gonna place it right there. I'm hoping I have some room over here, but over there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, because this is a new thing here, is deck foundation extension. So we're going to I'm going to show you how to craft that. <coughs> okay, and the recipe is for two two wood logs, eight wood planks, four nails, and four metal brackets. So I'm going to place one right here and extends it out as you can see. I'm going to place another one right there. I made four of them. Now, one thing I want to check out real quick. I forgot the ramp. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Um, we're going to put these deck foundations all the way all in all four places. So I made four of them. This expands your deck a lot. So I'm going to see if it works. Okay, cool. Next thing is um, I'm okay I did a deck foundation ramp and the reason why you want to do a ramp and that's 12 wood planks 20 nails and 4 brackets so when you got a vehicle you can go ahead and place it up on your deck So let me put that in. I'm going to put that right there. And as you can see, this is actually pretty big already. And we're going to put two decks. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going to put two decks out here so we can extend this. Now, the other, so what you need to do next is... Um, Okay. Zombies can't get you when you're up on top of your deck. So, um, let's go over here. We can open this up, open the crafting. The, you can make foundation stairs if you want, and the recipe is 20 wood planks, 12 nails, and 4 metal brackets. And then you want to make some other stuff. You want to make a metal door. Recipe is two metal sheets and two metal brackets. You can make a doorway, a metal doorway, which is four metal sheets, four brack, uh, four planks, and two metal brackets. Definitely want to make a gate so you, that way you can open and close and put your car up, and it's up here. And you don't have to do it anymore. So that's two sheets, two wood planks, and two metal brackets. 
and you definitely want to make some metal walls and that's um, four metal sheets and four wood planks. Now I build a large shelter I will place it up here and the ingredients for that is eight metal sheets, eight wood planks, 16 nails, and eight brackets. So while we are here, let's go ahead and place the metal gate. We want to put that in front of the ramp. And let's go ahead and set the code. Okay, that should open. Okay, and I'm going to put up some walls here. So. Now, to make all this stuff, it took a lot, and I mean, <coughs> it took a lot of gathering. Okay, we're going to leave that open for right now. So, it took a lot of, um, what, how should we say this? It took a lot of gathering hours and hours upon hours of gathering so that's one of the disadvantages look at all the zombies yay zombies and once you're up here um once you're on your deck zombies can't touch you the wolves can't touch you the bears can't touch you the only thing that can touch you and only if you're in PvP server is a sniper. <laughs> they can kill you on your own in your own deck. But you got these high walls and you can make these walls higher. You can make upper walls which makes them higher. So I'm gonna pause the video for one second, be right back. Okay. Uh, I moved around. I went ahead and grabbed some other stuff. I'm trying to make this a short video. Okay, this is your deck stairs. We're going to place them right here so we can access. So when we come, if we're walking, we can climb up here and go up here. Now, on this, we're going to put a metal doorway. Right there. And then we are going place a metal door right there make sure oops make sure you set your code so people can't come up in here and open and close your doors <laughs> okay and we're gonna put wall yeah we're gonna put walls up here so let's get the metal walls out Okay, I got more <coughs> I got more metal walls and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build another deck foundation and put it right off this corner, you know, and put the deck extensions and same thing off of here. It will allow me on this side and that way I'll have a lar larger base. For the meantime, I'm going to put my shelter on here. Now the only problem... Yeah, I'll put the shelter right there. The only you can't move you can't really move um don't yeah put the door in and don't forget to set the code just in case you get up here but we got our now we got our shelter 
we're going to, this is a large shelter, and we're going to put some, st <coughs> we're going to put some storage in here, a work, work bench in here, a furnace, a barbecue, a sleeping mat, so this is your base, this is the beginning of the base, since I'm making a mega base, this is going to be a little bit larger, so I haven't finished putting up all the walls that I want to put up and access that I want to put up here. But there's one thing I do want to show you and I did look out when I was scavenging. I found a car. So instead of leaving it here where somebody can I took the battery up but and the spark plugs out, but ah, it's the wrong button. But I can put, I can put my vehicle right here. Close the gate. Now they can't get up here. See, so you can't jump up here. And I'm going to hold it off on putting my walls up until I figure out how I'm going to finish laying out this mega base. But that's one of the advantages. You can drive your vehicle up here. But you need a gate to get in and out. But this is how, this is the beginning of the base. I found a vehicle which is actually pretty good. Let me get in the vehicle to show you something about the vehicle. While I was scavenging, you can empty your bags and put it into the vehicle. And as you can see, I got 25 metal sheets. I got 148 pieces of scrap metal. Uh, you can put a lot of stuff, so when you're scavenging now, since I'm since I got this vehicle, I'm scavenging. I can actually hold a lot more and get a lot more. So I can fill up my bags, empty them, then put and then empty them again. So that's one of the advantages of having a vehicle. So so that's this is the beginning of the base foundation. Um, when I, I'm going to do some more scavenging and collecting some more wood and stuff like that. Oh yeah, one other thing while I'm here, I just remembered. You got this. This is new. I tape in my name. Oops, got my caps lock on. Type in your name. 1927, and then give yourself a mission. So you can build on the foundation, destroy on the foundation. Um, what is this one? Permission to use containers on the foundation. And permission to base. And then just click on that. And now you are set up so you can actually add. Or you can also do this with your friends. If you got a group of you, just set them up and they got permission to do all this so this is now my deck foundation I gotta find me a wrench or build me a wrench and fix this vehicle I gotta make some fuel for it oh yeah five fuel it's easy to learn let me see if I have an empty bottle The empty bottles. Nice make one. Okay, we got empty bottle and animal fat makes you biofuel, which fuels the vehicle that you have. So, kill, you know, 
you're hunting for um, killing wolves. You, you do deer hunting, bear hunting. Get, every once in a while, you get drops of animal fat. Now you can make fuel that will help. Control, that will help make it. But the only thing is, you can't just go. Now I've got biofuel. Learn. I can't click this. Go ahead and make it. You gotta build a fire. Uh, and I'll, in the next couple of episodes, I'm gonna show you what I'm, how I'm gonna set up my inside my container and how to lay it out. Uh, you've already learned how to make storage, but you gotta have a fire. So I'm gonna build a barbecue inside my other my my large shelter. So that way I can cook my food. And I can also make biofuel in my food and make purified water out of the dirty water that I collected from either the lake or from the um, dew collectors themselves. I can cook my meats and stuff like that. And there's another thing I need to learn, which I haven't learned yet, um, is make a furnace. So I can take um, metal weapons and melt them down and make metal bars which will help me make certain items like sheet metal and, and other stuff. So there's a lot of things to learn in here. Um, so. Let's go back up on my deck. Okay, now we've learned some other things. Now this is, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on this, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Now you've seen the base, the beginning of um, my base camp. We started off, oops, I thought it was over for him. We started off with that small shack and the dew collector and a few storage containers and a couple, of, a couple thousand zombies. Yeah, she's pissed off. Nah, you can't get me. Oh, she's a cop. Yeah, she's a cop, but she can't get me. Uh huh. Now we got this mega base. Uh, we're beginning to build a base. And this is a large deck foundation with four extensions, a ramp. We got stairs and access to another side. And like I said, I'm going to build two more decks, and I'll probably do this in the next episode, two more decks and do ex do deck extensions around them, and hopefully I'll have, hopefully I have, I hopefully place them correctly and I'll have a larger area. Yeah, and build a nice lot and just keep on going out as far as I want to build it. And what I'm thinking about, if I can, I might not be able to do it, but I'll want to go ahead and build a farm area, so I'll do a, build a ground temper, and probably in the middle here, put, um, build a build my base around and put in the middle put a ground temper and have some raised ground out there that way um, uh, I haven't found any since I've been back because you used to be able to find um, corn seed and wheat seed and then you had to grill um, till the land and then you can plant it and watch it grow and I can have a little farm in here and produce corn and wheat so I have another food supply to be able to go ahead from there. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions on how I'm building this base, just let me know. As you can see, I have the foundation started. And I do have a large shelter where I can go ahead and go ahead and start building. Why do you need a base this big? Yeah, why not? Yeah. If you have more than 
you know, if you have more friends, you can put more large shelters and they can have their own shelter and so on and so on. So, I can thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube. Um, again, comments, suggestions. Um, I'm always open to more suggestions. I, I've been, I played this for about a year prior to losing my internet and now I haven't played it for two years now I'm back playing it and I'm finding, finding new more new stuff I'm not an expert at H1Z at all I don't claim to be an expert but I love playing this game this is a good game again it's available on Steam I'd like to thank you again for watching and have a great day